Well, Valley Club, if you're a fan of the candy store in Marvel Strike Force and all the things that you can buy there, well, good news. Looks like there's another store coming up next month based on spending turkeys. We're going to talk about that and next month's milestone event. We got the latest info on that for you. Also, are the incursion campaign nodes expanding and what is the best use of Mephisto? We're going to talk about these things and the rest of your mailbag questions because it is Mailbag Monday. And if you're ready for all of that and more than Valley Club, you know what to do. Find that like button and let's go smash it. And welcome back to the Valley Flying channel. I am Valley Flying and I hope you are having an excellent day. Hope you had a great weekend. In this video, we are answering your mailbag questions and we're going to talk about next month's month-long milestone event, including another store that looks like it is coming. But before we get to all that stuff, you haven't done so already hit that subscribe button for more great marvel strike force content minimum of five marvel strike force videos per week question and answer videos like this news videos reveal videos everything to help you in marvel strike force help you get better and help you uh, enjoy the game more but let's get right into these data mines these are courtesy of brother quick draw and of course these are data mines which means they are something to change but yeah we get some info on here on cosmic awakening which looks like it is next month's month-long milestone event. What it says here, uh, you could participate in these events next month and uh, get these following for free claims. The Cosmic Elixir, the Astral Armor, Nebula Cloak, Lunar Spectre, and the Cosmic Key, and a big item that you need to get are turkeys. Now, you can earn turkeys from Alliance Gifts, Showcases, Milestones, and the Battle Pass. You can also get turkeys in the following meta items uh, with these milestones. So Astral Armor will be from an event called Astral Voyage. We don't have dates on it, but we should get that in this week's blog post this is because uh, the October month-long milestone event is ending. The Nebula Cloak from the Nebula Trials, which is not just the name of Gamora's sister, it's also a cosmic body. What Wikipedia says, a nebula is a distinct luminescent part of an interstellar medium, which can consist of ionized, neutral, or molecular hydrogen, also cosmic dust. Nebulae are often star-forming regions, such as in the pillars or creation of the Eagle Nebula. And when I first saw this, I did think that Gamora's sister, Nebula, Thanos' daughter, would be getting a rework it does kind of make sense moon dragon did get a rework as part of the astral team is nebula getting a rework as well not sure if that's what this would be so close to a rework of moon dragon but it could be related to nebula the character it could be related to the cosmic thing nebula let me know what you think this is in the description but we also have the lunar specter from the lunar rebirth and the cosmic key is gonna be from an event called galactic awakening also, the Astral Voyage, which for this you're going to need to earn turkeys, T3, ISO-8 ions, and Crimson Mutant gear. It says that Astral Voyage milestone, you're going to gain progress by spending campaign energy to earn these Voyage Orb Fragments, use Undying Team in War, complete a Stellar Conquest milestone, and the free claim on the webs, and rewards for next week's events. Uh, looks like it'll be some Diamond Orbs, T3, ISO-8 ions, Crimson Bio gear, and it mentions the turkey store here. Stellar Conquest Web Milestone, uh, you're going to need to spend turkey on fabulous goods in the turkey store. Again, these are data mines, but we've had previous store. We have the candy store going on right now. We have the purple ISO 8 store that we had before the candy store. So thinking there's going to be something in the turkey store. Let me know what you think is going to be in the turkey store. Crimson gear, purple gear, character shards, awaken abilities, or Captain Britain shards maybe. Let me know your thoughts as we move forward with the questions of the week. Technically, we're going to start with a question from last week. Uh, brother Don't Ask Me says, I think this guy was talking about the campaign, not the raids. Don't know if there's a re-answer, but just saying. So I did screw this up. Uh, this this message here from brother Cat Dad 77 Valley got a quick question, but mailbag with Scopely bringing so many teams lately. Is there going to be addition to the incursion notes and have these team? And I'm not sure why my mind went through these older versions of the raids when I first saw the question. It didn't go to here, but this is relevant because if we look to chapter three, if we go back to chapter three, we see this is where we could get some shards finally for Zombie Iron Man. So. Are they gonna be adding some more nodes or some more chapters here? Because Zombie Juggernaut, we are coming about a year from his release and uh, it should be coming farmable soon in my opinion. Uh, we haven't had anything in chapter four that was added, chapter five either, but in chapter six was added. This is where we could start to farm Ball. This is where we could start to farm character like Deathpool. So maybe we're getting a few more chapters. There was nothing added when chapter eight uh, was added as far as character farmability. So 
Maybe they'll add a chapter nine and a 10. That's where it's that zombie juggernaut. Maybe some other original characters. Let me know what you think that we're gonna do with these incursion campaign nodes. I do think that they can expand these. Give us some seven star uh, red stars for some of our newer teams there. Uh, dark promos are always good, but yeah, more farmable characters would be a great thing. I hope that they're gonna add a chapter nine and a 10, and then chapter 10 is where we get that juggernaut. Maybe a few other characters. Let me know your thoughts on this in the comments though, Valley Club. As we move forward with this question about Mephisto, hey Valley, just happy on unlock Mephisto. Congratulations, my brother. Some serious questions about him. What are the best arena counter for a team that includes him? So uh, this is the team that I'm using right now in arena. And before I got Odin unlocked, well, in this spot I had Gore, but Ultimus also worked. So Gladiator, Thanos Endgame, Apocalypse, Mephisto, and then either Gore, or Ultimus. Both of them worked and both of them countered all these teams and it's pretty much mirror matches that I was facing until I got Odin. Then I got a Odin and it's all mirror matches with Odin here. But yeah, this is the team. Uh, again, Gore and, and Ultimus both work. I found Gore was a little more reliable for me, although I did win with Ultimus. So I uh, try both, but I think this is the team that you use. Just uh, replace Odin with another character there. And for War and Crucible, is he better on offense and defense? And also, what's the best team for him on both? Thank you. Bro, you've been my favorite MSF content creator. Keep it up. So I normally place him on defense in Crucible and for War. And normally a raid team, pairing him with a raid team is normally going to be the, the toughest for your opponent in either Cosmic Crucible or War. Now, I do have a weird defense in Cosmic Crucible, room six right now. And this has worked at some of the lower tiers I am. Did move up to another tier this morning and got this team got one-shotted. But basically, any team that has uh, Mephisto in it, you can either one-shot it with Odin, try to one-shot it with Odin, or do a double sacrifice and then try to beat it on that last hit. Now, uh, the reason that this team does annoy some opponents because they do two sacrifices and then they try to beat this team and uh, Super Scroll screws up a bunch of things there. We have a Zombie Juggernaut with a pre-taunt there. Uh, we have a Val that could bring characters back to life. So this team, it can be beaten with Odin, can be beaten with a few others, but if you're not going in on that last hit with a team that could guarantee beat this, it does get a little tricky. Now, this is what my opponent used this morning and I was not able to beat this. I used Odin uh, with a few other characters and just could not get Odin to die. Some of this was bad RNG though, like Blade attacking anybody with Odin. We would have won a few of these fights, but Blade attacked our Odin. And we just got really bad RNG, but this is a tricky team on defense. I've also seen Mephisto with uh, the Spider Society on defense. A lot of times people will place that in room three because as of me recording this, that does have the raid bonuses. So that is a tough team. And in war right now, I have Mephisto paired up with a hive mind, but I also see Mephisto paired up with a Spider Society in war a lot. So those are probably the two more common defense that I've seen with Mephisto, but usually I am seeing Mephisto on defense, not on offense in war and in cost. Crucible. I have Val, I'm working on Dark Dimension 6, made it to the non-horseman legendary. So far, I brought an Old Man Logan, Green Goblin Classic, and Doc Ock. Suggestions for the remaining two for Nova and Black Cat, but I don't have them high level yet since they were out of the meta when I unlocked them. Should I go ahead and level them up or maybe take Black Bolt and Iron Man since I have them at level 90, gear tier 17 for the Illuminati? It would be easier since I'm bottlenecked on trading mats. So yes, the trading mat part would be easier, but I think the big bottleneck is going to be the gold now it is dark dimension six and teal gear has been made a lot more available so that may not be the bottleneck for you i'm just remembering back at the time that that bottleneck was not the training mats and the stuff it was the gear so uh going into dark dimension six planner and they did switch this up so it's not just a selection you have to actually have a drop down menu but you already have Ock, you already have uh old man logan and you already have green diamond classic the remaining two uh you have a few choices here Iron Man is fine if you're using that character on the Illuminati. However, uh, they did say that there are going to be more shards available for Captain Britain in November. So you may get that unlocked for Captain Britain and be replacing Iron Man. So not sure if I would lean in towards Iron Man. Black Bolt is an option. Uh, the other option, like you mentioned, is Nova Black Cat. Now, if it was myself, I probably would build up Black Cat and uh, bring Black Cat in. But just because I know that I use Black Cat in Cosmic Crucible, and in war, I always use Black Bolt as part of the Illuminati in war and in Crucible. I don't use the rest of these characters. Once in a while, I will use Nova, but uh, for myself, the other two choices, even if I needed the training match, would be to build up Black Cat. Obviously, to get that full value out of Black Cat, 
would also need to build up Miss Marvel, Hardlight, and Green Goblin. Uh, not Green Goblin. Ghost Rider, Robbie Reyes. You build up those two. They're a pretty good trio and uh, in, in Crucible and War. Uh, but yeah, for for you to really realize the value of Black Cat, you would need those other two characters and maybe even Photon if you're looking at some old school pair. But Black Bolt is a character I use. Don't really use Iron Man. Don't use Magneto. Don't use Fury anymore. The rest of these characters are not that good except for Black Kill Bolt out of the meta right now. Starlord does have a little value from his passive, but I don't think it's worth building him up for a Dark Dimension. So the remaining character is Black Cat. Uh, Nova has a little bit of use, Omega Red has a little bit of use, but nothing for Invisible Woman and Phoenix. So my choices, long, long, long way to say, I would probably play Black Cat and uh, Black Bolt. Hey Valley, got a small question for you, maybe for the devs, but I don't actually know how to ask them this. Want your opinion on this as well. What happens to the loser of these player results? Do they have any chance of coming later or are they just never coming ever? I still want characters like Vindicator, Deadpool 2099, Werewolf by Night, Phantom Rider to come to the game, but I know they lost their respective votes. Just curious and would appreciate a bit of knowledge on this. Keep on smashing, have a great rest of your day. I hope the rest of your day is great, my brother. But the good news is just because they lost that vote, they're not gonna be on that original team. So like Vindicator lost the vote for Alpha Flight. She's not gonna be on that Alpha Flight team as they're already in the game. But uh, the devs did say on one of the Envoy calls that uh, just because they lost the vote doesn't mean that they're never coming to the game. So Deadpool 2099, Phantom Rider, they did lose that vote to Hit Monkey, but uh, Hit Monkey will be out first is what uh, this stuff. Whatever team that Hit Monkey was supposed to be on, he's gonna be on that team. But down the road on future teams, Deadpool 2099, Phantom Rider still, could still come. Man Thing did win that vote against Werewolf by Night, but Werewolf by Night could still come to the game at some future point. Uh, where, uh, Werewolf by Night's not gonna be on that Night Stalkers. Morbius not on the Night Stalkers, but could, uh, but could Morbius get a rework for a future team? Could Werewolf by Night be on a future team? Yes, so just because they lost that vote, they're not gonna be on the team that you're voting for, but they could be on a future team. So yeah, there, there's a chance that all these characters could come to the game at some point. And last but not least, Valley Vine is wondering, what do you think are the rest of the secret tags for the Shadow King event, other than Illuminati and the Annihilators? So the devs have not said anything officially or unofficially to the envoys or anyone else about what would be the other teams required in addition to the Illuminati and the Annihilators. As we look at the Old Man Logan, because that is the most recent legendary event we had. Uh, Cosmic Bio, Hero Skill, and Villain were the other couple uh, node requirements there. And with Cosmic Bio, if you didn't have Super Scroll, it'd be very, very tough to reach that end of the, the higher levels, the Old Man Logan trials. Same thing in Hero Skill, the Spider Society was pretty much the team that you needed there. Either a full Spider Society or a combo of Spider Society and Black Knight is what needed to beat this Hero Skill nodes. Very, very challenging. So uh, as far as uh, this, uh, the Spider Society and Super Scroll, well, I think uh, they, they do want it to be challenging. They do want it to be a little exclusive. So instead of Super Scroll, maybe Mephisto would be required for that. And Mephisto does have Cosmic Mystic Villain Tag. So probably one of these tags or two of these. And Mephisto does have Villain Cosmic Mystic Tag. So I'm gonna assume if Mephisto's a requirement, there would be two out of three of these uh, tags required for one node. And if we go back to this other node with a hero skill or villains, villain was pretty easy for the old man Logan trials. Hero skill was a uh, spider sighted that was needed for that uh, node. And if you didn't have a big spider society, it was hard to beat those end challenges. So spider society was a team that came out a little bit before the cabal around the time of out of time as well. So for looking at Illuminati, the teams that were right before Illuminati, right before Illuminati was the, the Mercs for Money, before Mercs for Money was Alpha Flight. So my guess would probably be Mercs for Money or Alpha Flight being required or something like that. Uh, we also have the Orcas team that came out after the Annihilators, the Night Stalkers that came out after the Orcas. So those could be possibilities as well, but I would say either Alpha Flight or Mercs for Money. Maybe Mercs for Money because what they did with some previous legendaries, they required the team that the previous legendary was on. If we go back to the Black Cat trials, it did require Nova, which was the previous legendary character right before Black Cat. So I think there is a precedent for Mercs for Money and Old Man Logan being required for Shadow King, but Alpha Flight could be one of those teams as well uh, required in one of these uh, other nodes. So let me know your predictions.
this. Who do you think, in addition to the Illuminati and the Annihilators, is going to be required to beat the high levels of the Shadow King unlock? My second question is about the Age of X teaser. Uh, there was supposed to be four legendaries or is there something else going on? Have a great day. So as we look at a teaser for Professor X and the Age of X, we see the first character in the Age of X, Old Man Logan being released, second character Odin being released, Shadow King here, and one more character. So either a legendary character or some kind of mythic character before Professor X comes to the game. I don't think they forgot about it. They might have changed the story because Odin's technically not a legendary character. He's a Dark Dimension character, so that mythic character. So. It could have a mythic, a legendary, or even an epic. They didn't put Captain Britain here, so Captain Britain is not one of the age of characters. I don't think they're going to put Zombie Scarlet Witch there, but maybe another character. Let me know who you think is going to be this last spot before we get Professor X, or is it going to be three spots and then we get Professor X? Let me know your thoughts and predictions down below, Valley Club. And let me know your predictions for what you think is going to be in that turkey store coming up for Thanksgiving gonna be some good stuff some bad stuff some really minimal stuff hopefully it's really really good hopefully there's some awakening abilities some shards for captain britain but let me know what you think valley club and let me know how much value you got from this video by leaving it a like it is free for you tremendously helped out the youtube algorithm and the valley flying channel and if you want to see what is the biggest mistake in heading into Dark Dimension 8 that I made so you could avoid the mistake and get Odin a lot faster, check out the video up there and I'll see you guys next time. Have a great rest of your day. Hulk fist bump, Valley Blaine, out.